Hello there everyone, my name is Hydrocraft, and guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video. So, in today's video guys, I pretty much uh, played around with some commands, um, and today we're pretty much going to be checking out the morphing command. Now, guys, in today's video, I don't know what we can morph into, um, maybe we can morph into villagers, foxes, I'm not exactly sure. We're going to try it today. Um, but anyway, um, the link will be down. There will be a link in the description below, guys, if you want to see more commands. Um, not from me, but from someone else. Um, and without any further ado, what's going to happen is I'm going to show you guys how to set this command up. Um, and after, after we do that, then we are actually going to try the command. All right guys, so for this command to work, well, first of all, you're gonna need two command blocks. And let me see if I can actually get some bedrock. Cause if you want, I guess if you want to protect these command blocks, um, <clears throat> you're gonna need bedrock around them if I'm not mistaken. But let me grab some command blocks. Let's see, all right. So you're going to want to get some command blocks. Oh, uh, let's see. I can't find the command blocks because they're probably somewhere in my inventory. Yeah, there we go. There's two. And I think here's what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to face both of them, if I'm not mistaken, like this. And then you're going to want to get, what is that thing called? You're going to want to get a redstone comparator. And you're going to want to put it right... Yeah, right about there. <clears throat> and then here's what's going to happen, guys. So for the first command, here's what you are exactly going to paste in. Alrighty, everyone. So for the first command, it's going to be effect at player, invisibility, one, and then you're going to want to space it, and then one, and then you're going to want to space it once more, and then it's going to be true. So just as you see it set up here, guys, um, just get a good look at it or pause the video so that you can, you know, type this in. Um, now, just I just want to let you guys know this command may only work with Bedrock. Um, I do not think it works entirely with, with Java. I'm not entirely sure, but I know for sure that, that it will work with Bedrock. So, you have this command, and then you're going to want to put your command block on repeat. Um, and the second command is going to be tp at e. And then, you know, you're going to want to do, what is that called again? It's not a dash. Let me see. Uh, okay, I forgot what that was called. You're, you're going to want to copy this exactly. Um, now, the name, where it says name equals morph, do not put any mob name into the name. I tried to do that, and it did not work out well. It actually broke the command. So, just, just you know, copy it like this, um, and then it will actually work. And then, you ha you're going to have to put it on repeat as well. And once you have done those two, you're going to want to put this lever on the first command block or lever, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, you're going to want to encase it and then you're going to want to, you know, turn it on. You're going to want to turn it on. So, yeah, that's pretty much how you set it up. And that is how you set it up correctly. And now we are going to morph into some animals or maybe some people. I don't know. Alrighty then, guys. Um, I also forgot to mention this. Um, Happy New Year's to you guys. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying this first day of 2020. Now, I know that there are some worrying things going on with YouTube. Um, most of us know uh, what's going on. Um, now, most of the regular channels that I'm subscribed to, this is just a side note, guys. Most of uh, the channels um, that I'm seeing that we're worried about, you know, getting completely kicked off of YouTube. They're still there. Um, I don't know if Coppa has taken effect just as yet. For those of you, you know, who know 
more about, you know, COPPA. But anyway, let's go back to the video. In order to, uh, in order for this to work, what's gonna have to happen is, guys, you're going to want to get a name tag, you're going to want to put it in the Alvin, and you're gonna want to name it Morph. And once you have done that, this is where the special uh, stuff starts to happen. So, you can morph into anything now. So, let's see, what is there for us to morph into? We can morph into this pig, if it doesn't run off. And there we go. We are now officially morphed as a pig. Never thought I'd be saying that. But, yeah, as you guys can see, we are morphed as a pig. Now, the movements for the pig, you know, he's not going to turn with you. Um, because, I mean, he's being teleported. That is what is going on. It's Minecraft Bedrock. You gotta keep that in mind. And, I mean, the pig is being teleported. So, you know, they're not going to want to cooperate with you. But, anyway, yeah, guys. As you can see, we are morphed as a pig. So, I don't know what we can actually do at this moment. Um, I guess we can just try to survive a night. So, actually, I need to put... I need to put this uh, this name tag away before I go into survival. So that's what we're going to do. Now, I need to show you guys one thing before I go into survival. So what I am about to do, do not do this with your Minecraft command block or in your Minecraft world. Because I guarantee you, if you, if you think that you can do this, if you go too far away from the command block... I mean, it's going to let loose the mob, and then the mob's going to go anywhere he wants to. So, yeah, do not wander too far away from the command block. You're at least going to want to stay as close to it as possible. Now, I mean, if you wander away from the uh, from the command block and it works out, I mean, okay. But I guess, I guess that's, um, that's all I have to say. Just don't wander away from it. Because bad stuff will happen, like that little lag spot, um, the pig almost broke free. But anyway, we need to go into survival now, and we need to actually survive the night as a pig. So, let's see, now we need to change the time tonight. So, we're going to change this to night. And now we have to survive the night as a pig. Now, there is a few things that we can do as a pig that we cannot do if we were morphed as a villager. We can swing a sword. We can shoot crossbows, which is good. Um, and we have some arrows. And I just threw out the shield, which I need to find again. See, guys, that's what happens if you're too far away from the command block. It will just break away instantly. Now, I cannot find the shield. And one thing to take on note, guys, is that when you're morphed as any of these animals or even a villager or zombie or a pillager, I don't know how you're going to morph into them. I tried morphing into them, but it I don't think it works. Um, but one thing to keep in mind is that, you know, your chat is going to be filled with, you know, teleported morph to, you know, your player name. Um, and then it's going to say gave invisibility to your player name for one second. And it's going to keep doing that and saying that over and over again. Look. And I mean, it it grows. It keeps going. It keeps going. Now, this night, it's going slow. So, actually, do I have to set on peaceful? No, it's on normal. So, we should be seeing some people later. Or we should be seeing some zombies. Now... There is one other important thing that I need to tell you guys, and that is that if you try to do this, you know, this perspective from, you know, any other Minecraft mob that's over two blocks high, or at least two and a half blocks high, like maybe, if I'm not mistaken, they should be two blocks or two and a half blocks high. Villagers, oh, that is not good. Villagers, zombies, drowns, uh, pillagers, all of them. If you try to do this perspective, it is going to look like a mess. It is not going to look good. So if you, if you do it with, you know, a pig or a fox, I mean, then you're pretty much fine. You're pretty much going to be fine. 
But yeah, this is a cool command. It's just it's just two commands to copy and paste in to, you know, a command block and then you repeat it. And I mean it's simple from there. Here's a spider. He's not gonna expect anything. He's just gonna think that we're a pig. And this is where he's gonna make his mistake. Now this may cause some lag because of, you know, the chat. But I mean other than that, it's a pretty cool command, and I recommend that you guys you know, test it out in your Minecraft world. Now, one thing that I do want to tell you guys as well, I mean, try this in a multiplayer at your risk, at your own risk. Um, if you try to multiplayer, it might, it, it might break, you know, th that other player's, I don't know, it might break the world. Or, I mean... If you if you're doing it from online and they do it with two mobs so let's say that this arrow was the name tag right so let's say I'm a pig right okay and then I go over here and I name the sheep a morph if you do that chances are it's going to break the command or you're gonna have two mobs following you which is not going to look like a morph at all it's going to look like a disaster now, in another world, I'm going to actually test that out um, after I do this video, and I'm actually going to see what's going to happen. Now, I actually might not want to do that, considering that Bedrock is very laggy, so I'm going to try, but I, hey, if the world crashes, then uh, that's not going to be good. But they just think we're an ordinary pig. But little do they know that this would be the mistake of their lives. So, sorry about this. We're going to have to wake you up. I'm going to sleep as a Minecraft pig. I'm just joking. We have to survive the night. We cannot go to sleep right now. And there goes our first zombie. This zombie, of course, is not going to expect anything. He's going to try to attack us. And he can attack us as a pig. I was not expecting that. Yep, he's going to try to attack us as a pig. But we are going to kill the zombie as a pig. Imagine that. Imagine if you were, if in Minecraft, you were just, you know, walking around in the Minecraft world and you were killed by a pig or a cow. That would be embarrassing, man. That would be very embarrassing. We're gonna get this zombie, and we're gonna get all of those spiders. They're in a cluster. So, so far, we are surviving the night as a pig, and it's going good so far. So, I'm just gonna go into this, uh, this perspective. And let's see, we're going to shoot this spider. And it is now, it is now night. And there goes a creeper. That's probably what's going to kill us. I forgot about the drowns, you know. By the way, I don't know what happens if you die with the morph on. Okay, so thankfully that didn't kill us. So that's good. But I don't see any more, you know, hostile mobs. Up oh, there goes a drowned. Where is he? Oh, we're actually about to die. And when I say we, I mean... Yeah, I mean a us actually. Like, my player is about to die, not the pig. But anyway, guys, the morphing command is a really cool command. I recommend that you try it out. And I will also leave a link in the description down below if you want to see uh, more commands. Not from me, but once again from someone else. Um, from where I got it from. But anyway, guys, um, we are actually going to survive this night once again. I'm going to go a little far away from the command block, guys, just to demonstrate what's going to happen. And there you go. See, this is this is exactly this is exactly what happens when you go away from the command block. 
Oh, they're gearing up. Ah, uh, no, this is not good. Here. And two villagers are trapped. I need to let them out. There we go. We'll save our, uh... Oh, that's not good. Well, as you guys can see, once you die, um, when, when you're something morphed and you die, you then return to your normal self, and the chat kind of queers itself up. So, yeah, that is good. Um, now, if you guys want to see uh, more things, I will actually, I will actually do a video. Like, if you guys want to see this, I will do a video where we survive as something else, um, except in another Minecraft world, not in, you know, a showcase world like this. But, anyway, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video, and if you did, then definitely feel free to leave a like and subscribe, um, as well as turning on notifications. Um, and once again, Happy New Year's to you guys. Um, hope you guys have a great year, and without any further ado, I will see you guys in the next Minecraft video. Bye-bye.